want to get him a fist. You want to be... Sir? The general is very busy. If you'd like to wait one moment, please. Hey. Uh, that's all for now. We'll meet again this afternoon. You pig. You dirty, rotten pig. There were 28 of them, my whole squad. Dead, one by one, all of them. And it's all your fault. You dirty, rotten bastard. For God's sake, shut up, Charlie. I've had enough of this. Just once more, just one more insult from you, and I'll have you court martialed. Understand? Better do it then. And you'd better do it now, because I came here to kill you, Sam. I swear it. I came here to kill you. And I don't know what's keeping me from doing it. I'm your commanding officer. I ordered you on this mission. It's not up to you to evaluate the consequences or the results. Damn it! You knew those gasoline tanks at Catalogitas had 200 Germans and two tanks guards! You knew it! And you told me there wouldn't be more than a dozen guards. And they finally trapped us. We were like clay pigeons in a shooting gang, and it was a massacre. Which resulted in the destruction of 75 German Panzer tanks. You can hardly say that was an action wasted. Now listen carefully, Charlie. The date for the invasion of France has been set for five days from now, June the 6th. During the 24-hour period immediately preceding the landings, all our commando groups will be on special sabotage missions behind the German line. And what are you telling me that for? Pike, bring that folder in here. I'm telling you, because you're going to land one of those groups. Who am I going to lead? All my men are dead. You're crazy. Pike, sir. where do you think you're going? I thought perhaps... Well, give me that file. Yes, sir. All the details are here. Plans, timing, coordination. As for men, you'll have to work that out for yourself. You'll have to choose your own from among the first, second, and third sabotage companies. You'll need a technician for the explosive part of it. The Americans have lent us a certain major... major... Burke, Burke, yes. They tell me he's a real expert, knows his job. Well, that's fine, because he'll be strictly on his own. I'm finished with the commandos. I'm going back to a line outfit. Oh, Charlie, by the way. They tell me the French coastal area where you land is under the command of a German colonel, Ackermann. have already met once. I don't recall the outcome, though. No. Well, the best of luck, Charlie. You're a dirty, rotten bastard. Hey, lads! Here comes one of the blasted colonels again. <laughs> oh. ah. You see, Sergeant? Those are the showers. <laughs> the day room. Modern times, Colonel. 
A few years ago, these things didn't exist. <laughs> you godless bastard! You have your chicken liver afraid of him because he's a lousy colonel! Eh? I repeat, you've been misinformed, Colonel. And so? I don't have a single man to give you. I'm surprised that the General doesn't understand what's going on down here. I send reports in all the time. What about those men outside there? Oh, no, not those men. I suggest we go down to Battalion Number 5 and... Why not them? They seem to be well trained. They're the worst we have, sir. They're insubordinate. They've been under arrest ever since they've been here. I realize this is an important assignment. It's an emergency. I'll make that decision. Let me decide that, huh? A bloody nice house, eh, mates? But not like those bloody flea-bitten apartments they give us, are they? Here you go, lad. Uh, it's on the house. Step back away. Hey, look! Ow, bastard! Pick him up. <laughs> Good. Now we can introduce ourselves. I'm Colonel McPherson. That not knows? Yeah. You say yes, sir, when you answer a superior. Crawling in subordination and violence. Yes, sir. Come, Carlyle. Yes, sir. Crawling in subordination and violence. Albert Tank. Crawling in subordination and... Sam Scheider. They are known as the anarchist. And now we come to the regimental celebrity, Raymond Stone. Twelve months training, all in solitary confinement. That's a new record, I believe. That's not the only record I hold. Since you're the only one left, you have to be Madigan. Frank. Madigan, the water bucket expert. Yeah, it's been a real pleasure to know you, McPherson. Yeah. Just a minute. I haven't finished yet. As of right now, you're all volunteers for a mission behind enemy lines. What? That's a joke, right? No, I'm not joking. We leave tomorrow. You leave. You can't make me go. I'll go back to solitary first. You're right, Madigan. We cannot force you to go. <laughs> Madigan! You stole the company payroll, right? Ravindra? Yes, sir. For Mr. Madigan's sake, please. Repeat Article 81 of the Penal Code. At the discretion of the commanding officer, the penalty for theft in the zone of war could be commuted by death. And the entire British coast is considered a war zone. Are there any further objections? That's all. We leave tomorrow morning. Other instructions will be given en route. Carlyle? Suicide on that crazy mission with that crazy... I'm not coming. I've been running all my life. I'm tired of it. Besides, you won't get far. Not with that guy after you. You're a crazy idiot. Come on, guys. Where is Goliath? He wouldn't come. Said he's tired of running. I think he's racking up. Snap them! 
This way! Come on! Come on, hold it! I mean. The Germans, I suppose. Yes, of course, naturally. But who's the leader? Colonel Ackerman, our friend from Sidi Barani. Do you think we run into him? No, I don't think so. Not unless I go out there looking for him. It gives me a strange feeling to know that he's out there somewhere. Like hunting tigers. I remember when I was a boy in India. You would get into the hunting area. And everyone would be in the grip of a terrible, feverish desire. But we knew that sooner or later in life, every man, if he's a real man, must come face to face with his own enemy. And we knew that so very good. It's called the London Restaurant in Glasgow. I've never been in Glasgow. It's really first class, all right. I used to go there every day. Five pounds a meal there. But you eat, man. You really eat. Chicken pie. Thinking of the Colonel. If it's any of your business, you know something? Anything can happen in France, even to officers. Not here. I'll call you when I get back. Bye. Uh Captain Burke, Gordon, sir. I'm uh, sorry about the delay. I don't know how you behave in the American Army, Captain, but there's no excuse for delays here. Stand at attention when you're talking to a superior officer. You arrive late in the company of a girl. I'll wager you even told her you're going to France, didn't you? I didn't think... Oh, you didn't think. Well, let me give you an example. Just for life, what might happen because you didn't think. Suppose the girl goes home and casually talking to a couple of friends happens to mention that the American captain, she's in Dayton, is going to France on a mission. Suppose other officers and men about to embark on a mission such as ours would behave the way that you did. Do you happen to know how many German informers that are estimated to be in London? No, sir. About 700. You can draw your own conclusions. Yes, sir. I think I'll go board now, sir. I didn't think we'd lose this goddamn war just because I went to bed with a girl. I'm Periscope. Colonel, 
We'll be on target in 20 minutes. Thank you, Captain. Yes. Normandy. We're going to land here. And this is where the Allied landing will take place. About 200 yards in from the beach. You'll find a series of anti debarkation devices with mines attached to them. You'll have to neutralize them. Now that's your job. You'll have two men to help you clear a path through the mines and into the beach. How much time will we have? An hour. While you're doing that, we'll take the rest of the men ashore and knock out the two German observation posts. These. And that's the whole story, huh? Basically, yes. What it amounts to is this. We clear a path for the landing craft, which comes in with the rest of the commandos. Now, their job will be to reach the town of Angol and blow up a special railroad gun that the Germans have there. But once they hit the beach, our job is done and we head for the submarine. Is that clear? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I've never worked on these before. How long have they been in the water? I don't know why. If the detonator's rust, that means there's trouble. I'll have to use a limpid charge. Limpid charge? Aye, that means he's gonna have to blow them up. It's a complication. Well, we're still gonna need 45 minutes to complete our part of the mission. A question, Colonel. Aye, what? I was told the six of the men you picked for this mission are all hard case jailbirds. Is that right? Yes, that's right. So what? Nothing. Just seems strange for a, a special landing team. Strange, Captain? You, an American, find it strange? Didn't your most famous heroes from Davy Crockett to John Brown and Doc Holliday and a dozen others spend time in jail at one time or another? And you find it strange? Okay. I, I've got the message. Time? Ever taste oven or roasted newborn lamb? No, never. The way they do them in a London restaurant. They are like whipped. Green. You can bloody keep your cream. Hey, Nick Besson. No bang bang for us? No, no guns, no shoot. The rest of you use your knives. That should make you happy, Stone. And I left Mike because she was the daughter of a butcher. Yeah, well, if you get back, cut off, perhaps you can pick up the pieces. Attention! Attention! Five minutes to target! On deck! Get ready. Let's go! the established plan. Wait for us for an hour and 45 minutes. If we haven't come back in that time, well, you can return to the base.
on the double men. Come on. Get our tails out of here. Ready to head for the beach? All of you. Aren't you coming with us? Rabindra and I will stay here for a little while to wrap up things. Wrap up things. Everyone to the station. Clear to fire. Ready. Seven degrees, right? Fire. Christ's sake, let's do something. 
to it only give our position away. And it won't do them any good. Return to your base. Over. Message received. Over and out. Put me through to bunker 238. It's the third. Attempted a landing in just a few hours. The headquarters still thinks they are diversionary maneuvers. Hello. Hello. Who is it? Who is it? This is Colonel Ackerman. Hello, damn it! Hello. Uh, yes, yes, Colonel uh, Ackerman. Yes, a group of British commandos attempted a landing, but they were uh, they were wiped out by one of our PT boats. Oh, good. Um, Remain where you are and stand by for another call. Put the six and the eight squads on full alert immediately. The information from the PT boat was inexact. They have landed. Yeah, they have landed and occupied one of our coastal bunkers. How do you know it? <laughs> I will tell you. Bunker 238 didn't give us the password when they answered. The man I talked to must have been an Englishman. We may still be in time to block them. Let's go. You know who that was on the phone? Who? Ackerman. What do you intend doing? Colonel, if we're gonna move, we better get a bus out of here. All clear, Matt. I think the submarine has already gone. Aye. It's been an hour and 50 minutes. You two, get the German machine gun. We're going to need them. You, throw the rest of the equipment into the sea. Go. I think we can still make it, Colonel. Let's try at least. Burke. I said it was already too late. Look. Who said it's too late? Come on, Blow. Hurry it up. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, my job's finished. Where do you intend on taking us? The only safe place to hide, behind the German lines. Right. Close the plane to get our bloody rope to blast it off. Well, it sure is hell too late Don't make it too easy for them. Let's get moving. They're almost here. did to this man. Why, those murderers. No, Adler. They're not butchers. They're commandos. And damned good ones. Alert the entire zone, because they've got to be found, and it won't be easy. Janine. What is it? Are you coming? Still afraid? The shooting stopped a long time ago. Besides, it was probably just some of those dirty Mackey. Could it have been the Americans? No. The Americans have no intention of landing. And don't worry. They'll get a warm reception. They'll never get off the beach. Don't worry. As long as you're with me. You're on the right side. The winning side. 
the side of our German allies. Today, Lieutenant Mueller confirmed they'll make me mayor after the victory. You will lose? That's impossible. Sorry for the intrusion. Perhaps you can finish later. You. You are a pessimist, my dear Ackerman. A stubborn pessimist. You wake me up at this ungodly hour just to tell me about your stupid suspicions. General, if you won't let me explain, you can hardly decide whether or not my suspicions are stupid. All right, you go ahead and tell me your little fairy tale. First of all, Everything I'm telling you is in reports I sent you 48 hours ago. During the last few days, the Anglo-American forces have been making massive raids in this area between Cherbourg and La Havre. Second, during the last three hours, our radio monitoring units have picked up an incredible number of coded messages the BBC is transmitting to the French resistance movement. Third, groups of commandos and paratroopers have been reported and always in the same area between Chabour and La Havre. Now, let me inform you, my dear Ackerman, that we have exact and precise information that an Anglo-American attack is not imminent. It will take place between the 12th and the 14th of June, and not in Normandy, but in Calais. And you think the American troops will land in the next few hours? Exactly. Let me further inform you, my dear Ackerman, that our meteorological service reports bad weather in the English Channel for the next seven days. Knowing this, Rommel went to Berlin to a meeting with Hitler. Good morning. You should have more faith in your Führer, Ackermann. But if you really want to waste your free time, why don't you go and chase those ghost commandos? Good morning, gentlemen. Go out. Get out, all of you! We are losing the war, and these insane idiots can't realize it. I was in Berlin last week. You should see it. Reduced to fragmented ruins from aerial bombardments. And on one crumbling wall, a war's done pieces, but not our faith in the Führer. They fail in Russia, they fail in Africa, and now they're going to fail here in France. What are we supposed to do? They don't ask us to think. They only ask us to fight. We don't have to do anything else. Look at this. What are you complaining about, mate? That Frenchie's got a mighty military wardrobe. Look, what I got stuck with. We're right here. About eight miles from the coast. Yeah, the German observation post. Bet you 50 francs. He tells us it's nothing like what he drank at the London restaurant. Not bad. Not bad at all. But it's no comparison to the wine served at a certain Glasgow restaurant. I didn't ever tell you about it? No. Listen carefully, all of you. Your chances of escape are damn non-existent. You're out of uniform in enemy country. And if you're caught, you're shot. And you're not. They can, Chief. We've got these. You'll be smart to come with me. You'll be better off, Stone. What the hell are you talking about? Come with me. Where are you going? We're going to take over the mission of the group that was wiped out by the German boat. What? What did you say? I'll be dipped. Our job is to clear a path through the minefield for the commandos. And we did it. So stop the boat. This is where I get off. They didn't make it, but... And somebody's got to do it. But not us, goddammit. We've done our job and then some. Look, we're safe here for the moment. All we got to do is sweat out that landing, the big one. And it's due in a few hours from now. I'm tired of your wine and work. Fed up with it. There's the war going on. You're a junior officer supporter to me and you're going to do exactly what I tell you That's to. an invitation to suicide. I'm not looking to get my tail shot off on a... a job I didn't volunteer for. So what do you got in mind? We got a right to know that. 
I told you we couldn't trust a rat like him. Well, I've got in mind is to blow up the railroad gun at Ango. Providing, of course, Colonel Ackerman doesn't manage to stop me. Who's Ackerman? Just what will you use to blow it up with? Matches? Mm. Now, don't let it worry you, Shire. We'll find a way to do it, I promise you. And maybe you will at that. And as for them, if they die, as far as you're concerned, all that's lost is a bunch of jailbirds. And me, naturally. Are you through, Buck? Yeah. Wherever you go, I'll go, Colonel. They'll all join the party, Rabindra. Get the dog tags. I'll shoot the first one that tries to go out that door. Okay. We'll come along. But I'm not coming because either you or your boy have frightened me. Don't get any ideas about that. But I'm a curious bloke. And I want to see how you make out on this little caper. Look at this map, Pierre. How far is this cross from your place? How far? Six kilometers down the country road. And how many soldiers are stationed there? I, I don't know exactly. But they are many. How many? Four. We'll take the girl with us. She must know the area. What about him? No objection, Your Honor. Mark, at the risk of all our lives, I'm going to teach you a lesson. I'm tired, Rabindra. Why did you kill him? He did nothing to you, you coward! Oh! Hey, that's enough, McPherson. It's not our fault. Better get this through your head, Burke, once and for all. Even though you are an American. From now on, I won't permit you to get in my way. And that's a warning. You lost. Kevin. Yeah. I've been fighting wars since eight years. I was in the International Brigade in Spain. So? I know what you're thinking. That certain methods... Are just like the Nazis. You see any difference? A lot. Quite a lot. I know the Nazis very well.
No. Pull. Pull hard. It's a disinfectant. You'll feel better in a few minutes. Really a disinfectant. Morphine, he's had it. All we can do is wait for him to die. And hope that he doesn't suffer too much. Objectives mine between February 15th and June 2nd. June 2nd, February 15th. Yes, but where are they? Nothing. Not even a small mortar. There is only this stuff. No wonder there are no more explosives. They've mined the entire zone. It's a lucky thing for us the Germans are so methodical and efficient. They've shown us where they've put exactly everyone in. Very bad shape, Colonel. The doctor says he can't last much longer. Have you interrogated him? Not, not yet. We were waiting for you. I'm Colonel Ackerman. Who shot you? Who was it? Eight. There were eight men? Person? Yes. Uh, 
Gibbo. Where? They got practically nothing. Just a few detonators and fuses. Their actions are apparently unrelated. They have no precise direction. Still, I know McPherson, their commander. He's damned stubborn, but not crazy. Unless Adler. What is it, Colonel? That man has no uniform, no dog tags. What do you mean? It's unusual, to say the least, of course. It would fit perfectly. I suppose something's happened that has left them with no equipment or explosives for a sabotage mission. McPherson is the type who never gives up. He has thrown me a challenge, and I've got to accept it. Quick, alert the entire zone. Get all the squads out. I think I know where they have gone. Where? Well, if you needed explosives and you didn't find any here, uh, where would you look for the Marla? Come on. Along this line, and they're planted ten yards apart. You stay in my footprints. Give me the wrench. Okay, you hold it on the sides. If you touch that, we're both dead. What'll happen if you make a mistake? Do you really want to know? I can always say, I died in the arms of an explosive brunette. Yeah. got 40 pounds. Enough? Yeah. Now all we have to do is to get the angle. The trip is over for me, Colonel. End of the line. That goes for me, too. 
all of my curiosity is gone. If you have got another on the band to want to nose around among the Germans, I'll let them blow up that stuff while you're sitting on it. Go ahead. What a stone says, so long, mates. And thanks for the company. And how far do you think you'll get the loan? And then they may occupy territory stone. You'll have a better chance if you come with us. What have I got to do with your war? How much will I pocket by the victory of democracy over fascism? The democracy I know. I learned in a solitary confinement cell in the prison run by a ruddy officials who treated me like a bleeding galley slave. Give me one good reason for me being here. Private Stone and Madigan, you will communicate that they have just concluded a separate peace with the Germans, as of now. No, no. How are you voting in this debate? It's different with me, Stone. I'm Jewish. And you know how the Nazis love Jews. I don't even have to ask you. You're an officer. Let's go. Down here. any reason why we should get killed with them? back to the slaughterhouse. He wanted to play hero. God damn it! Uh, uh, that's your rosary. How are you going to pray now? I think God will forgive me if I pray without it. You'd better get out of here and fast. Where to go? I have nothing left. Besides, in town, they consider me a spy and a collaborator because I live with Pierre. Then why do you live with Pierre? It's easy for you to ask that. Have you ever been so hungry? You faint from the pain of the cramps in your stomach? I have. You'd better get out of here. No, listen to me. The first time, it was not the way it is in books. It was not romantic. No soft, lovely moonlight or beautiful words. He was a pig. But I knew afterwards He'd give me a dozen tins of food. And then? Eating becomes a habit. There's a German column coming, quick! Let's get out of here, Burke. You take Carlisle and head east toward the river. We'll meet at the crossroads at St. Nazaire. The Germans won't be following you. Rabinder Stone and I will drop them from your track. What about the girl? You go and meet the Germans. You'll manage them all right. Just tell them that we captured you and you are forced to come with us. Oh, what do you need? Now, you can tell the Germans anything you like, except for two things. Don't tell them that you heard talk of an Allied landing at Calais on June 10th, and don't tell them we're headed for the submarine base. You understand? 
remember Lassie. Good luck to you. Down there. Under the big guns out to look for you. Am I prison? Get your hands up. Don't be frightened. All Germans are not SS. I have no intention of hurting you. I just want to ask you some questions. What were you doing with the British? Because they are British, aren't they? They put me in the house of a friend, and they kept me with them because I know the area. How many were there? How many? About 20. No. There were eight of them originally. There should be about five left now. Their commander is the Colonel McPherson. As you see, I already have some information. I know they use German weapons and that they have dug up a mine to get explosives. Look, you will be better off if you tell me what I want to know, because if you don't, the SS will come, and then things will be very much worse for you. What is their objective? I don't know. Don't be up, Guy. Rest the up, government. I must question the prisoner. This is my authorization. I've just begun interrogating her. Don't worry about it. Leave that to us. I have just begun interrogating her. Don't worry about it. Leave that to us. Don't fear. The girl was already telling me all she knows. With our methods, she'll talk faster and in more detail. Right?
Bin bin Barak. This way. Stop. Hey, Kalal. How is your leg? I'm Mark, the head of this group of Maquis. We have met already, you couldn't. Of course, sir. It is he who sent us. It's very good that we find you in time. The road of Saint Nazaire is already being watched by the Germans. René, Louis, drive un valet pour la blesse. On y va vite. Well, the the French woman, she remembered hearing the Englishman talk about a landing at Calais for June tenth. Interesting, eh? And that's not all. She also generously told us that the commandos are heading for our submarine base. No, neither the landing at Calais. Oh, the submarine sabotage are sure. For you, everything the SS does is wrong and badly done. I didn't say that. Only that you let her fool you. No. With our methods, we always obtain the truth. What truth? That which helps us defeat the enemies of the Reich and the Führer. All the rest is nonsense. The lies of saboteurs and defeatists. I love Germany also, certainly more than you do. What do you think we are fighting for here at the front? Victory? The domination of a superior Reich? A thousand year old Reich? Bah! Those are only old, worn out slogans. What we're fighting for now is only one thing an honorable peace for the Germans. We will meet again, Colonel. It is my duty as a good German to report our conversation to my superiors. Meanwhile, we will take the girl to Kasapa headquarters tomorrow morning. She will be tried as a partisan spy. Come over here. Yes, sir. What direction have the British commanders followed since they landed? Uh, they landed here in this bay, um, then we picked up their trail here in this house, and here in the minefield. They were headed north. Always north. It's strange when the submarine base is in the south. Continuing in this direction, what would they find? Here, the ammunition depot at Le Valier. And farther up, the railroad gun at Angle. And if the British have a good intelligence service, they will know the depot has been moved to Calais. That leaves Ango. There is only one way we get rid of Macpherson. The French girl will be picked up tomorrow morning at six o'clock by five SS men in a truck and taken to SS headquarters for trial. You once told me you suspected the owner of the town's bar to have a contact with the Marquis, right? We could leak some information. I'm sorry, miss, but I told you it would be worse with them. I've come to tell you that if you should ever meet that English colonel, that Macpherson again, tell him that you talked to Ackermann. Remember that name, Ackermann. Tell him not to be a stubborn fool, that his efforts are useless. He is better off surrendering to me. At least he will be treated as prisoner of war. I don't think I will meet him again. The SS Sturmführer told me I will be shot as a spy. Uh, we live in very strange times. It could also happen that you who are to be executed will be saved and that I, who captured you, will end up before the firing squad. Your English friends, who have come to sabotage the railroad gun, will arrive at Ango and find nothing. The gun has been moved.
Aye, it could be. Ackerman's no fool. That's why one of you will have to stay here to see if any additional SS troops are on the truck. Oh. At the 20-kilometer mark on Highway 12, is there a telephone nearby? The rest of us will be waiting. Yes, a couple of kilometers away, the Mola rail station. We have a good friend there. Good. Call us there. And tell us if Janine's on the truck with the SS men. And how many men are in the convoy escorting it? D'accord. C'est Radio Lambre. Le message. Marco. Marco. The Trojan War will not be fought. The Trojan War will not be fought. The birds are going to die in Peru. The birds are going to die in Peru. They wound my heart with monotonous languor. They wound my heart with monotonous languor. Mes amis, c'est fini. It is the moment. We are free. As the best of good luck. I have the menage in Germany, too. It's not very big. <laughs> His name is Ackerman, or something like that. By the way, he knows your name and how many there are of you. Did you tell him? No. I don't know how he knew it. Then, I couldn't understand too clearly what he meant. But he said, a certain railway car at Ango has been moved. They didn't take the bait. What do you mean, bait? And what else did you tell him? You could never understand. The SS beat me till I could not stand it anymore. I told them everything. 
What do you mean, everything? Your sabotage mission to the submarine base that you told me not to tell about. So that's what the funny talk of yours was all about, huh? You figured everything, didn't you? And she'd spill her guts, tell them everything you wanted her to, huh? Now you listen to me! Who's the enemy? The people I shoot at, or the people I serve under. How do you finish, Buck? No. You and that German been bouncing that girl around like an old tennis ball in your own private war, haven't you? Well, when we get back, if we do, you're going to have one more thing to account for, won't you? When we get back, Buck. And if we get back as you put it, you can do whatever you damn bloody well please. But right now, there's a job to be done. And in 15 minutes, we'll leave it to do it. And you'll come along with us to do your share. Take my word for it, you'll be there. Thank you. For what? For defending me. I once done it before. Is this thing you must do dangerous? <laughs> you could perhaps. Perhaps. We've only got a few minutes. It might be our only chance. Burke was right, I should have returned to the submarine, gotten you all back to safety. Instead of starting this private war with that German. I think the results are important, not the motive. I don't know. We've already lost four lives and the job is still to be done. Truth is, four years of war have bloody well emptied me. To stop and think and look back. Once I had a wife and friends. They're all gone. Once I had ideals. Now I don't even remember what they were. from our friend that I go that the train has not moved from the tunnel. He's beat. All right. Let the hit Let's go. 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 let us go One of us now. Don't worry about her. I've got to see General von Rio for certain. In the office, sir. I don't give a damn if he's Marshal von Rundstedt is in the private lunch. Call him immediately. The Allies are about to land. Do you realize what's happening? Find Rommel. He's at his private villa in Helsing. Well, Berlin then. Is the report you wanted, sir? Commanders in French Marquis within the past two hours have destroyed two munition depots, a radio communication center, a bridge, a railhead, but that's... Oh, Ackerman. Yeah. Unfortunately, you were right at the landing. And against all logic, right here in Normandy. Gentlemen, I'm afraid we have to handle it alone for the moment. Without reinforcements? But that's impossible. Berlin still believes that it's a diversionary action. Mailer, you move your armored troops to one kilometer from the coast. Von Kulitz, you follow the prepared plan and blow up St. Paul's Dam. Ah, come on. You get to your men at Angle and take command of the artillery groups. Move fast. I have already ordered the rail guns. Move towards the coast.
There's half the German army down there. Stop! That way! That's the road! The orders to move the rail gun up within range of the target. You heard the colonel. Go ahead, get over there. Follow him. Don't move now. Yes, sir. Jail, follow us. Go to the Only two kilometers to go.
you want it. I lost it. Different circumstances. You would not have hated me. Ackerman. It wasn't you I hated. 